first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number five on the topic lcm and hcf now we are going to solve some of the question based on model number three that is product of numbers so friends listen here before watching this video don't forget to learn all the four lessons starting from lesson number one introduction lcm hcf model one model two so first learn all the four videos and then watch this model number three only then you can able to understand it so model number three is just a property of lcm and hcf one of the property and this model number three question is very simple even if we teach this model number three to the kids they too can able to solve easily that much easy the model number three is but you need to know that concept of product of numbers so that's the reason we are taken this as a separate lesson just listen carefully i can uh, just keep any example question i can go with example question like uh, uh, 12 and 9 okay right so here the question is we have to find what is LCM for the number 12 and 9 and we need to find what is HCF for the number 12 and 9 so first let me find what is LCM for 12 and 9 right so what is the shortcut I have told you first you need to take the largest number that is is number and you need to check whether this number is divisible by the remaining numbers or not so 12 is the is number so 12 is not divisible by 9 we will multiply into 2 so 12 into 2 is 24 24 is not divisible by 9 12 into 3 36 36 is divisible by 9 so we can say that lcm of the numbers 2 number will be 36 so next our target is to find what is hcf so hcf for doing hcf what is the shortcut i have told you you need to see which number is the smallest and you need to write down all the factors and you need to check the remaining numbers that should divisible by the factors got it so factor of 9 will be 3 yes so 12 divided by 3 yes it is divisible so we can say that hcf of the number is 3 so guns got it or not so what is the target here our target is to find lcm for the two numbers hcf for the two numbers so finally we found lcm for these two number is 36 hcf for the two number is 3 here the property is product of two numbers just see here product of two number is equal to lcm of the number into hcf of the number simple logic so this is the question right this is the numbers they have given if you multiply right if you multiply these two numbers resultant will be 108 yes or no the given question is 12 comma 9 if i multiply 12 into 9 the total will be 108 similarly if you multiply the lcm number and hcf number it is also 108 you can see lcm for the two numbers what we got is 36 hcf for the two number what we got is 3 if you multiply lcm and hcf 36 into 3 will be 108 so the given question number if you multiply both the numbers resultant will be 108 so here the simple pro uh, property is product right so product of two numbers product of two number is nothing but these two numbers so product of two number is equal to lcm of the number into hcf of the number understood or not right that's it friend. this is called as one of the most important property in lcm and hcf so product of two numbers the given product two number 108 is equals to lcm and hcf the same result and answer 108 right some books they will uh, write like this product of two numbers or else in some book you can able to see they usually write like this n1 into n2 is equal to lcm into hcf so before uh, don't buy at this formula some students without knowing the logic of it they usually buy at this n1 into n2 equal to hcf into lcm don't do that right before buy adding it you should know what is the logic behind this formula now you understood the logic right if you multiply the two numbers given question two numbers the resultant answer will be same for lcm and hcf product yes if you multiply two number is 108 after finding lcm and hcf if you multiply again 108 both the numbers are equal that's the thing they are saying product of two numbers is equals to lcm and hcf both are same understood so let me move on to some of the questions you know how the question will be like they usually give lcm of the number hcf of the number one number will be given they will ask what is the second number easy or not right let me take this question just see lcm of the number is 36 hcf of the number is 3 one number is 12 they will ask you what is the second number 
you, you need to keep it as x and you need to multiply both and divide by 12. That's it. Very simple logic and easy. And you know, this model number 3 question, if you take railway exams and if you are a college student, campus interview exams, and if you are SSC preparing student, these students should prepare this model number 3 more. Because every time in this competitive exams, you can able to see LCM HCF question only from model number 3. Got it? So now let me move on to some of the example question based on this model. Question number 1. So LCM and HCF of two number are 1, 2, 6, 0 and 63 respectively. So if one of the number is 315, find the another number. Right? So what are all the values they have given? They have given that there are two numbers. One number is given that is 315. So for that two numbers where LCM and HCF has been given, LCM of the number is 1260, HCF of the two number is 63. Just now we have learned the property. What is the property we learned? So product of two number, so product of two number answer will be equal to product of LCM and HCF. Just now we have learned this property, yes or no, right? So now we know that according to the question, the two numbers, out of these two number, one number has been given what? 315. So first number has been given, our target is to find what is the second number. So let me keep second number as it is, is equals to LCM. So LCM will be 1260, HCF will be 63. Just divide this, N2 is equal to 1260 into 63 divided by 315. So you can cancel it on 5 table. So this becomes 5 twos are 10, remaining will be 2, 25, 2. So number 2 will be 252. So finally we can say that the second number will be 252. So first number according to the question, first number they have given. So finally we found the second number will be 252. Understood or not? It's very simple, right? If you understand that concept, right, product of two number concept, then you don't want to buy at this formula. Kindly don't buy at any formulas in LCM and HCF that is completely waste. Instead of buy adding the formulas, understand the concept. Because there are many models, right? In LCM and HCF, nearly there are 12 models. You should not buy out all the 12 model formula. That is useless. If you understand the concept, then all the 12 models formula is does not required. Right? So now I hope you understood this, right? So product of two numbers is equals to LCM into HCF. So that's it about uh, this model number 3 because it's very small video and I will give you some Omer questions. So I will give you one or two Omer questions. So try to solve it and check whether you are getting the answers or not. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. Thank you so much. Bye.